Yo, what's up guys, it's Mr. X here, and what I got for you guys today is a very good gameplay on Domination on standoff on the Xbox, and my score streak uh, setup happens to be the AGR, Stealth Chopper, and Ultimate Levy Set. Now, this is probably my best gameplay that I've ever forked out for you guys, other than the one on the, uh, what was it, that Mirage, and that was with the LSAT, but I was actually doing a LMD challenge with that, but this one was uh, completely doing the Cat 40 with Silencer Challenge, and I actually was very successful in this gameplay. And uh, as you'll see, as I talk about other things in the gameplay, you'll see I'm doing pretty good. And um, I got a big announcement to make for you guys, and I'm very excited to actually announce it and have this uh, come off my shoulders. I finally got myself a PS3, and now that the, I have the ability to do cross-platform gaming, it just, it's a whole new, uh, you know, I can social network with people across platforms and stuff like that. Now, you guys can leave this in the comment section below on this question I'm about to ask you, but on the PS3, are you limited to how many friends you can have compared to the Xbox? Because I know for the Xbox, it uh, has a limit of 100 friends. Now, I'm pretty sure, I'm not too sure on the PS3, I have no experience of what the friends is at all. But you, like I said, you guys can leave in the comment section below. I know I can probably find it on my own, but there's not, I won't find too many people very soon on the PS3 as I am more networked on the Xbox as of right now. So, um, yeah, you guys can leave that in the comment section below. And uh, another thing I wanted to get off my shoulders was the amount of uh, what games did I get for PS3. Uh, the games I got for PS3 was Black Ops 2, Modern for 2 with Stimulus, and Modern for 3. And I have a few more other PlayStation Classic games which are not really important to mention other than the three that I already did mention. And because there's the, mainly the only three games I know will be mainly play, playing on the PS3 because with the whole YouTube thing and all that stuff, you know, I kind of want to do cross-platform gaming. And, uh, Actually, the next uh, discussion I want to talk about is the differences that I like between PS3 and Xbox and the similarities. So let's get with the differences first. Uh, first off, the quality for uh, PS3 and Xbox. So I'll use Netflix for this example. So whenever I go to use Netflix on the Xbox, uh, it seems to have this HDMI signal that if you end up rewinding a movie after you know want, want to watch it for like there's a certain scene that you want to watch for a second chat like second time, and because either it gave you a good laugh or you just want to see what the hell happened in the movie. Well, with the Xbox, I noticed that when you rewind a movie, the signal strength itself has a uh, has a quality signal. So once that quality signal deducts itself down to roughly a two or one bar on the HD signal, the video degrades and it's crappy. Like it pixelates. It's like if you download a movie on YouTube and you watch it as it was. It's not really good as if you were to watch it on YouTube. Well, same scenario that works on the Xbox, except for me. It's like every time I rewind it, it's like I have to wait for roughly nine or ten seconds for the quality to fully regain itself, and it's it's not good. So what I did was I have Netflix on the PS3 now, and because the rewind option is actually a lot different, where you can just use the D-pad to select which scene you want to go back to, and it doesn't really uh, rewind. It actually gives you these scene boxes, which you can actually uh, you know select the scene and go back to that certain scene, which kind of goes back a few minutes in the movie. Well, I noticed that with the PS3, it, the high definition quality doesn't stop there. It just keeps going and going. It actually, like, it doesn't stop. Like, you can rewind it, and the quality will. There's not one bit of degradation on quality, which is what I thought was awesome, and all that stuff. So I know the quality that I look like. I'm kind of confused. Is it Blu-ray on uh, Netflix, or is that when you watch movies? That's another uh, question I want you guys to answer for me in the comment section below. Is the quality that you said for Netflix? Like, does Netflix do Blu-ray? So that's pretty much a question for you guys in the comment section below. And um, that's pretty much it. So uh, another discussion I wanted to get on, or sorry, what I should be doing is discovering, uh, discovering the similarities. So the similarities are obviously the applications and um, actually you know what, I can't look on both the similarities until I discover more of the features of myself on the PS3. I'm still a new to the PS3, but actually um, when I went to uh, play Black Ops 2, yes I actually managed to get my first gameplay on Black Ops 2 which was completely insane. I never thought I would actually go this good but uh, it was on Domination on Express and I well, I'm well, i not going to really spoil the gameplay for you because it's something that I actually won't record. I have it in my file share ready for you guys to watch after I commentate on it and to actually give my introduction on the PS3 side. So um, I'm actually, uh, I, actually I thought this gameplay would actually be a good outro to uh, be converting over to the PS3 which I won't be doing permanently like I'll be doing cross networking like I said before in the beginning that I'll be doing cross networking on the Xbox and PS3 I won't be uh, switching to one console from the other permanently I like to do uh, what's called cross-platform gaming so um, 
yeah, so uh, pretty much I will be leaving my uh, PSN ID in the uh, description box below, and I don't even have it in my profile too. If you guys want to add me up, but anyway, um, besides the uh, that story I just told you guys, um, I want uh, the other thing I want to get down to uh, basics, or sorry, uh, down to uh, speculation is the uh, differences between the Xbox and the PS3 controller. Now, the one thing I do like about it is the fact that the PS3 controller is small, lightweight, and durable. And the fact that the buttons are similar, like, relatively close to each other, like the thumbsticks are in the way, are the way they should be, and uh, you know the control, uh, the buttons and stuff, it's pretty lightweight. It's like like super lightweight. But anyway, um, the one thing I wanted to get by was um, the controller configuration. So with control configuration, I found it's a lot different on the PS3. Like for example, like when I play on Black Ops 2. Uh, my ADS is uh, my L1, which would be LB on the Xbox controller, and aiming downside, which would be L R1, which would be RB on the Xbox controller. So um, I noticed that there was, uh, you know, it was a bit confusing to understand why, how, and why that worked. Because I thought the main triggers like L2 and R2, like L2 was the aim down sight, and R2 was the fire button, and obviously the top uh, two buttons would be the tactical button and the grenade button. Unfortunately, it didn't seem like that, but you could do uh, trigger flips, I discovered, and I found it quite easy, but unfortunately, because of how much you have to stretch the fingers from the thumbs to the index finger to uh, try and grip the uh, triggers, it's not quite the same, because it's, uh, I don't know, on the PS3 controller, it seems like the, the triggers on the bottom are more flattened and more wi widened more so than the Xbox controllers, hence why the Xbox controllers are, uh, are configured automatically for the triggers to be the aim down sight and the fire button but uh, I tried it myself and I, don't know, I just couldn't really gr uh, grip myself to uh, doing it it kind of ruined my accuracy so I'm now keeping the configuration the L1 for aiming down sight and the R1 for uh, firing and obviously the two bottom buttons uh, for my concussion and grenades because my accuracy seems to be a lot more focused when I have that uh, Button configuration. I just don't really want to confuse, my, confuse myself with the Xbox controller, but it's a little bit hard to do that because I've been gaming with the Xbox controller so much that I can't really mistake it for any other uh, controller uh, configuration. So that's pretty good, and that is why I, the gameplay that I'll bring to you guys on the PS3 is going to be very good because of how well um, I was able to uh, adapt to the PS3 controller. And um, I got to admit, uh, I was doing some searching upon uh, what on famous youtubers about other people uh, what is it um, accusing youtubers of reverse boosting now reverse boosting was something new to me I never knew what the hell it was until it was actually explained to me and, and I guess it happens to be um, I'm sorry if I'm a too old new for actually understanding what this means right now but I you know I only know what the main part portion of boosting is and that's where you set a tactical insertion down with your buddy find a private area where no other team finds it very suspicious that you're doing something that's not not really committed to the gameplay more so than trying to get the high scores of prestige faster or even level up faster and get certain weapons faster but uh, yeah that's pretty much the basics of boosting is setting attack and start with your buddy in the private area where no one's gonna speculate you're doing nothing but just you know playing the game for what it is so uh, but when we got to reverse boosting I was like okay now I gotta do some research on this so I guess my understanding of reverse boosting on Black Ops 2 in specific is the whole SPM which is score per minute and maybe that describes why I did so uh, good on my first game because uh, on my first game I'm not going to tell you what my score was I'll save that for when I do the commentary but as far as the gameplay is considered I can spoil that a little bit um, I discovered it to be very 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 easy so that may be why and no I would not do this to increase my rank because it doesn't seem legit to me so I like to you know face players that are based upon my skill like you know nothing feels more legit to uh, feel uh, other people's based upon your skill than you realize how well you would battle against yourself so it's kind of like a uh, having a taste of your own medicine towards another player like having another player feed that kind of uh, skill that you have against you which I find pretty cool because you know nothing else can really compares but as this gameplay wraps up I'm pretty sure you guys seen that I called in roughly uh, six AGRs, three still choppers, and two orbital VSATs. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and if you'd like to leave any uh, thoughts in the comment section below, please do so. 